Welcome to your home garage and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to have a clean engine bay using this Quasar pump up sprayer. The Quasar Venus Super Foamer is a chemical resistant pressure sprayer used to apply foaming agents, quick detailers, waterless washes and more. Now they do come in a range of colors and each one represents something different. The light blue, such as this one, is in the standard range, which takes care of the majority of the jobs you'll need it for. They do come in three different sizes, the 2 liter, such as this one, 1.5, and 1 liter. Now, as I mentioned, there are different types, so you'll want to get the color and the appropriate application that suits you. The red is heavy duty and in the acid line, such as cleaning equipment. The dark blue is for alkaline jobs, such as disinfection of surfaces. Each one is also described on the box so you can purchase the correct one. There's also a black one for solvents and a white one that is food grade. The light blue, which is the one that I have, is great for pre-washing cars, cleaning rims, and engine bays, which is what we're going to be doing today. The top, or the lid, is an easy twist off. This kit comes with a few different nozzles, so black, a white, and the blue, which is already installed, plus some oil. And because the container has such a wide base, it sits on the ground very nicely. And the Quasar Pump Up Sprayer just feels of quality, so I can't wait to start using it. The soap that I'm going to be using in the Quasar Pump Up Sprayer is Geon Foam, which is safe for all surfaces and is designed to remove heavy buildup of dirt. Now there are heavy duty degreasers on the market, but I clean my engine base a few times a year, so this just requires a light clean to get it ready for the fall. Let's get started, and I'm going to do two engine bays at the same time to show you how easy it is with this Quasar Foamer. Here's the engine bay on the Fiat 500, and as you can tell, it needs some attention. And the RAV4 is in similar condition. As we get set up with a Quasar pump up sprayer, pay attention to your solution. In this case, I'll be using a one liter solution, which is one part foam and five parts water. There's a visible and easy to read scale on the back of the pump up sprayer. Now it may be difficult for the camera to pick it up, but I can easily see my one part solution on the scale. This solution is also pH neutral after diluting, so there's no worries about getting overspray on your paint as it doesn't strip waxes or affect coatings. Now I have a perfect one liter solution, which is more than enough for my two engine bays. Start with a light spray of water in your engine bay, and because it's a light mist of water, I don't have to disconnect the ground on my battery or cover up any electrical components. Now, if this is your first time cleaning your engine bay and you're uncertain as to how much water you're actually going to use, it's always a safe practice to disconnect the negative cable on the battery and cover such things like your fuse box and alternator. As I mentioned before, I'm going to do two engine bays at the same time just to show you that this doesn't have to be a very daunting task.
again a light mist which washes away the initial contaminants. Now charge the sprayer with a few pumps. Spray Geon foam in the engine bay and make sure the entire surface gets covered. And I'll spray the Fiat so this allows the soap to dwell. Now scrub the surface of the engine bay, which will likely take about four to five minutes. and immediately rinse off with a light spray. Coat it one more time with Geon foam and just let it dwell. Then I'll move to the Fiat while this soap lifts any remaining areas that I may have missed. Now that Gion has sat for a few minutes in this engine bay, the contact scrub will be a lot easier. Similar to the RAV4, a quick rinse after the first contact wash. Followed by another round of Geon foam. Now for a final rinse of both engine bays. Rather than letting the water evaporate, it's quick and easy to dry it with my electric blower.
followed by a wipe of all the plastics. And you can already see the amazing results of this effortless engine bay detail. Here's a closer look at both engine bays. And the more times you do this in the year, the quicker it becomes. And as a byproduct, it's just a better experience working on the mechanics in a clean engine bay. As a precautionary measure, always start the engine after a detail, just to make sure everything is operating properly. And there you go. Now you know how easy it is to give your engine bay a quick detail, as I did too at the same time. So make sure you help to keep this channel going by hitting that like button, sharing this video with a friend. Also, please comment below as I reply to all. Plus, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time on your home garage.